<sighs> so, what you gonna do today? I don't know. Hey son, uh, this just came for you. Ah, thank you. What is it? Ah, oh, cool. It's the wire I ordered for my pickup. Wait, what? Yeah, I was gonna make a pickup. <laughs> no, not that. What? Why was your dad delivering the mail when I'm the mailman? I delivered all your other mail today. So the movie can happen. Oh. What? So, oh. let's begin. In today's video... Uh, Hello. I'm gonna wind Hello. my uh, very first pickup. Oh. Okay, so I know that some of you are gonna ask why I have this tiny little spool of wire and why I didn't go for one of those big ones. And the reason why is because I thought I bought a big spool, but apparently I didn't. Uh, I think I bought something like 50 kilometer or something like that. Maybe it says on the package. I don't know. Anyway, whatever it was I bought, it sounded like a huge amount of wire when I bought it. And then it showed up, and I was just as surprised as anyone would be, I suppose, when I figured out this is the size. Might be obvious to some of you who have made uh, pickups before, and that, you know, can tell me that, yeah, you know, there's a... There's a lot of wire going in a pickup. I don't know what to say. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is gonna be a different kind of video, uh, not just because of the weird intro with the guy over there, <laughs> but also because, uh, yeah, I'm doing something that I've never done before that I don't know anything about. And so, yeah, you can obviously talk to me in the comments below if you wanna. As always, I welcome any sort of conversation you wanna have, but do keep that in mind. I have never done a pickup before. This is the first one I'm doing. The whole idea is basically this. I have this pickup winder that I bought on eBay. Or, I mean, it's a winder, but it's not a pickup winder. But I modded it and made it into a pickup winder. And I built this base. And the idea is basically just this. I'm gonna hand crank a wind an entire pickup and it's going to be 6,000 winds and I was thinking that maybe it would actually be kind of funny to watch me do that and see you know if after the first thousand winds maybe my arm is super tired maybe I am dying or something like that I don't know I'm later going to put on a motor on this so I can control it with my foot I don't really know when that's gonna happen, but we're gonna see if it becomes a fun thing that I'm struggling to wind this, because I can't quit midway, obviously. I can't take a pause. It has to be wound in one big go, because you have this super thin wire, and it's gonna be hanging loose, uh, you know, if I just stop. I can obviously stop and take a look and check on things, but I can't let go of anything, or at least I can't let go of the wire. We're gonna jump into it now and see what happens. I have my bobbins and uh, the plates that holds the magnet, uh, all of it together here. The magnets are Alnico 5, and I have these plastic little things that I made. Um, you can just print out a template on um, Google if you search for, you know, pick up template and then I have a piece of plastic covering it I hope it's gonna turn out great it might also be a disaster so keep that in mind I am gonna post this either way because it's not about making a pickup it's about the ex experience of winding your first pickup and so the wire might break you know a couple of times we might not end up with a pickup at all again if you're looking at this at some sort of tutorial or you know me teaching you how to make a pickup. Hopefully one day I'll be good enough at making pickups that I can make that kind of a video. And if you want something like maybe a video where I talk about what I learned from making my first pickup or something like that, you can talk to me in the comments below and we'll see if we can make that. I hope I will in, at the end of the day have a pickup that is actually working. I'm not expecting it to be a perfect pickup or, you know, even a, a good pickup. Um, I'm, I'm just aiming for working pickup. 
Okay, so this is the setup I'm gonna go with for now or in this video. You can sort of see the machine a little bit here and you can see my face and I think that maybe seeing my face will be what makes this fun if I, you know, mess up a bunch and you'll be able to tell. Ah, oh, allergies are kicking in, which is not a good sign that this is gonna work, I feel like. Yeah, so um, this is definitely not the best way of attaching a pickup because I got a bunch of small strings of hot glue on this here, which is not good at all. And also, it's gonna be hard for me now to add on the wire. Should have thought this through maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I'm gonna put this on a pen and I'm gonna hold it between my legs and I'm gonna move it over here to the pickup and you can't see it but yeah that's what I'm doing and I'm pushing it through the hole and I'm trying to get a hold of the wire so that I can pass it through again and this is definitely more fiddly than I was hoping it would be so yeah ah, come on you rascal don't something like that hopefully that is gonna hold up I don't know and now I can just tug on the wire which you can't see me doing but I have these adjustment things that uh, I can put up next to where the wire goes and I can move the wire to the top you couldn't see that but basically all I did was trying to find a way to keep the wires taut in between I've seen this online, people say that you should wear a glove and hold the wire so that it's taut in between. And now we can just start. Just this a little bit but so far it looks pretty good I don't know if you can see anything and I'm sorry if this is an optimal um, I should have had two cameras or maybe even three cameras you know one on on the um, one close-up of the machine and what's happening with my hands one on my face and Maybe one on the back. Ah, the wire snapped. Oh, damn. Well, okay. So, um, the wire snapped, and I think the reason why it snapped was because I kept it tied, uh, I kept it um, stuck down there, and I didn't, um, I had bought the, I've clearly bought the wrong amount of wire, I don't know, or they didn't give me the right amount. Because I'm up at 459, I'm just about to hit 460, and that's not even, like, close. I was going for 6,000. Oh, wine, just... Get... Mm. Ugh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna see if I can... Can I... They, they, it looks pretty good from what I can tell, you know. So I'm going to pull just the last one up like so. See if maybe we can glue it down or something. I don't know if this is the way 
you're supposed to do it. You know, I mean, obviously, I don't think so. I think you're. Um, I'm just putting a dab of glue on to hold the wire taut down where I um, want it to go, basically. We're gonna put this into a guitar and play it and see what happens if you have, you know, 460 wounds on a pickup. We're still gonna do it because I said we we're gonna do it and we're just gonna see what happens. I doubt that this pickup is gonna work much. I think it's gonna be really brittle and thin and it might actually even be something like really feedbacky or something like that. I don't know. Ah. I felt like it was. Ah, I'm really annoyed now. I really am. I'm. I'm oh my. Ah. I should have known that something was wrong and I should have just contacted them and said, like, hey. This spool is really small. It doesn't look like it's that many wounds. Oh, are you guys sure you sent me the right thing? Because, I mean, like... Oh, God, I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, God damn it, I'm so... <sighs> oh. Seriously? This is... I'm, re I'm really annoyed. I prepped for this so much and I did so much before work where I really thought about what I was going to do and I was so super like, oh, I got to make sure that things work the way they, they're going to work. I need to... And then I... I uh... I buy their wrong amount of wire. Like seriously. If it looks like it's wrong, and if it looks, you know, like that can't possibly be 50 kilometers of wire. I need to find a reputable source to buy my wire because eBay is clearly not where you're supposed to do it. Because uh, I've gotten scammed, basically, that's what it is. And I didn't pay that much, so don't worry. I don't want anyone to, you know, but... <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up. Um, if any of you know how many wounds of a pickup is in a... Like, how, how long the wire in a 6,000 uh, wounds are, uh, please let me know in the comments below and help me out. Um, because, yeah, I thought that I bought enough wire wire to, to make a couple of pickups because we have that guitar neck that we made. Um, I don't know, sorry. Um, uh, we made it a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, maybe. Uh, and we're going to build that guitar. But I wanted to rewind the pickups in that, because I think like, oh, what would happen if we had a, you know, scatter wound, hand wound, Harley Benton pickups, basically. Oh, God. <clears throat> I'm actually, it's fine, it's okay. I'm mostly annoyed with myself. I'm mostly annoyed with the fact that I, I, I worked really hard on making sure that this was solid and that everything was square and that everything looked right. And I made sure that this was moving with as little give as possible. And I made sure to line everything up and I made sh I thought about everything correctly. And I saw this when it came in the mail and I was like, ah, I don't know, this is, mm, I'm, I'm not sure, this can't be enough wire for, for, for a pickup. There's just, there's something itchy about it. It's dodgy. Something isn't right. They're just, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I was basically right. There is something wasn't right. It was completely wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
I'm gonna... I'm gonna take five minutes to just go and scream in a corner somewhere. Uh, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here is the pickup right now. And as you can see, it's not a lot of wire on it. But, I don't know. Other than that, it does look somewhat right. So yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to not let it show how disappointed I it in it all I am, actually, because I thought that, you know, I didn't mind if the wire would snatch because I felt like, you know, that's something that happened. Uh, it's my first pickup that I've ever made and it would be, you know, okay if that happened, even if it happened so many times that I ran out of wire and ended up with nothing. But instead we just have this weird thing that is, um, I don't know, I don't know, I'm bummed out. I wish this would have been more fun. But that's the way it is, I suppose. We are gonna pop to the pickup now, and then we're gonna put it into my Telecaster, my LTD, because it doesn't have a neck pickup, and then we can do some sort of comparison. It's not gonna be a fair comparison, both because, I mean, it's my first pickup and the neck, the bridge pickup is a bare knuckle pickup and i mean they've obviously been making pickups for a long time or i don't know i just want i don't i don't know how to show you a comparison of what this would sound like anyway but we'll put it in that guitar and we'll just play through the three stages and see what it sounds like and what happens but yeah keep in mind that this is my first pickup and that i don't know what i'm doing uh clearly <laughs> Feels like it wouldn't be fair to the pickup and to you guys to hear it if it's not waxed because, you know, if you buy pickups, most of them are always waxed uh, or something. I don't know. So we're going to jump over to that and uh, see what happens, basically. Everything in this video is just, let's see what happens. Okay, so the water is boiling and uh, as you can see, I have it the plank with the jar on top of it and I'm right now just waiting for it all to melt basically and then the pickup can go in all the wax is melted right now and the only thing we have to do is put in the pickup like so and make sure it's completely covered and now we're just gonna wait for the bubbles to disappear and I don't know how long it's gonna take I've done it on other pickups and it's taken a couple of minutes, maybe five, you know, somewhere between five and ten minutes. But those have been wound with, you know, thousands of wounds and this is, you know, 460. So, um, yeah, we'll just wait and see what happens and see how long it takes. I'm gonna let you see a little bit more of the bubbles. Maybe I can even zoom in a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to show all of it, but once all the bubbles are out, I'm just going to take it out, put it on some uh, paper towels and just um, clean off the excess. And then I'm going to just turn off the stove and leave it all to cool off, basically. Something that it's good to do every now and then is to just move the pickup around a little bit. So if you think that all the bubbles are gone, just try to see if you can move it around a little bit. And uh, if the bubble starts coming again, you have to wait. And if the bubbles are not showing up, even though you've moved it, then you know you're done. So the pickup needs to just cool down before we can do anything with it. And what I was thinking was we'd put it in this guitar because as you know, if you've been subscribed for a while, it doesn't have a neck pickup. And so I was thinking I'd just put it in here and wire it up so that we can select the bridge, the 
middle were both of them and then just the neck pickup and then we'll just play it go through it see what it sounds like and and just um yeah see what happens i want to say that this whole thing has sort of bummed me out a little bit especially since you know i felt like i was finally gonna do this but you know things happen sometimes you can't you know that's the way it is basically and I have to say that in a way I'm also kind of glad, which my maybe sounds weird. I mean, I'm weird in between stage of the two right now, between being mad and glad. But I'm glad that I did it anyway because I've been. It was a while since I showed you this machine that I made, and you know, when I showed you it and I said like, ah, I'm starting to get there with it. I that was a long time ago that was the beginning of the year or something or maybe not maybe not the beginning of the year but it was more than a month ago uh two months ago it was a while it's been um 10 years or something I've been thinking about you know one day I'm finally gonna make a pickup you know but I've always felt like ah oh, it's a little bit beyond what I can do which maybe sounds weird but to be honest it, 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 it that's the way it's felt and I like to try to find things that I feel are beyond what I can do and push myself to do them even though I, I may be a little bit scared of what will happen or something like that which I mean to some of you it's gonna be like what are you scared of I mean obviously it's nothing really bad can happen I mean yeah you make a pickup and it's not a good pickup yeah you move on it's not like something you know dangerous could happen but it's still it's been a thing so I'm glad I did it and I'm glad that I um, filmed doing it because it will be something for me to remember. I can look back at this video in 10 years or something like that when I've made, you know, hopefully a lot more pickups. And I can laugh at myself and my silliness who didn't know what I was doing. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that I challenged myself is what I'm trying to say to... Uh, push myself into something uh, that I want to do but that I haven't done. Stay awesome and cool and challenge yourself with something that you've always wanted to do but that you've always felt like, oh, I can't do that or I'm not good enough to do it or I need to learn how to do it before I can start doing it. Just jump into it and see what you can do. And you can start with building a kit guitar if you want to. You don't have to you know, build an entire guitar from scratch. Uh, you can start with modding some pickups. I've done a video about modding pickups. Uh, you don't have to wind pickup as your first thing, you know, just, but do something, okay? Just do something that you've always wanted to do, but never felt like you can do. And just promise me that you'll do it. So the pickup works, but the volume of it is so incredibly much lower that I'm going to have to record the bridge pickup, which is a vernacle pickup, with very low volume on the master volume, and then turn it all the way up and crank it for the neck pickup and the middle position. So there is going to be a little bit difference there, but it works. Mm -hmm. 